Hi friends and family. I'm D after 50 and I'm back today with another recipe that I actually found online. It's like a vegetable pie. So I'm going to be snapping shots of what I'm doing and I will try my best to post the recipe also. If I can't post the recipe, I will do the best I can in adding on what and how much I use while I'm doing the pictures, okay? So you guys, watch carefully, learn from it. It's a very good recipe and it's diabetic friendly. While I'm waiting on my four tablespoons of oil to get warm in my big frying pan, I just wanted to tell you I have one onion chopped up, two medium potatoes chopped up, I used one large, one small, uh, some chopped cabbage, I got a bag of chopped cabbage for coleslaw, so it's just the cabbage that I'm gonna be using, one carrot, um, and that is grated, uh, three green peppers, I only used two. Uh, half of a red pepper, I used one whole one. It says you can use a teaspoon of chili peppers, or I'm just gonna probably put a few flakes in there. A teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And then for the mortar on this, so the sauce contains three eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of yogurt, or a little bit less than one cup, a little bit less than one cup of milk and yogurt. Uh, half a teaspoon of glass of 45 milliliters uh, of oil. I'm sorry, half a tea glass of oil. Two and a half tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one packet of baking powder or 10 grams, which is about two tables, two teaspoons. A pinch of parsley. Uh, let's just chop up a little char parsley. I'm gonna use that and then you top it with grated cheese. And of course, you know, you can use plant-based or goat cheese, okay?
Hi guys, I came back real quick to say thank you so much for tuning in today. And my dinner seems to have turned out quite good. And I made some turkey legs to go with it for the meat eaters in the house. And so here we go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Mm. Delicious.